Hey guys, Ben here with Vance Outdoors, and today we're going to talk about the newest, one of the newest offerings here at the Hebron location, Hobie. Uh, this beautiful boat I have sitting in front of me is the Pro Angler 14 360 Mirage Drive. Um, and this one in particular is the Mike Iconelli edition, and it comes in this red camo. It's a, it's a really nice boat. Uh, so what we're going to do today, we're just going to cover some of the features and what's included with this boat, and uh, just show you what they're all about. So we're going to start off here in the front. Um, it's got a nice carry handle molded in. Um, obviously, when you get something this big and you're going to um, you're going to want to trailer it or you know throw it in the back of a truck, but we also sell the Hobie um, the carts. So all Hobies they're compatible with the kayak cart, and you're probably going to want to get one for something like this, especially when you get it loaded down with all your tackle. Um, this is quite it's a quite a heavy boat, so. Having that cart is going to be um, is going to be really nice, a nice feature to have. So when you have that cart um, plugged in back here in the scupper holes, you've got a nice carry handle up front that's going to help you steer this thing around and and get it to where you need to drop into the water. Uh, so first off, one of the big awesome things with these pro anglers, they have a giant dry storage hull up in the front. Um, so those are bungeed down. And then it swings open like this and you can adjust um, how far it swings open with that strap there. And you also have the, uh, the tub and this tub will come out and you can put other stuff down below. Um, but yeah, this, this nice little dry storage tub and it comes with all of your, all of your extra stuff. This Iconelli edition comes with a um, cool decal kit to make it look like an old, uh, like an old fighter plane. Uh, comes with all the documentation and uh, some other spare parts in here as well. You just want to close that up. Strap back up again. So this Pro Angler 14 in particular has six internal rod storage places on, in the hull. So you can store them that way when you're traveling. And then um, if you go with the age crate or some type of crate in the back, you can, trans you can transport them here and then put them in your crate. There's also two uh, rod storage places here in the back. If you want to grab your, your fishing rod out, take your rod sock off and stow it there while you're fishing. So you can have two in the back right out of the, you know, right out of the store, two spots for rods, and then you can be fishing with another one. So that's it for rod storage. We'll move into the drive. So this is the 360 Mirage Drive. Uh, what's cool about this, um, you can go forward and reverse, and you can also go side to side. So essentially there are two, two controls over here. The one on top controls the direction of your drive in the system, and then the one on the bottom controls your rudder. And you also have a secondary rudder control over here to the right side. Um, so what that means is with this boat being 14 feet, you can get a lot smaller turning radius with the drive turned to the side and the rudder cranked to the side. You can spin these around a lot quicker. Another big feature with this Mirage Drive system is the kick up fins or the kick away fins. Uh, this was designed by Hobie to um, make sure that your drive doesn't break up if you hit a stump or a rock or something if you're in a creek. The, the way it works is you're you're just going along and the fins if it hits something they kick up and then as soon as your feet go back to pedaling it locks back in again um, no worries you don't have to pull your drive out if you're in shallow water um, they will kick up and out of the way of any obstacle in there so with the with the mirage drive you have you have a positioning system for your feet so if you have longer legs or shorter legs you can change the position of where the pedals are. Uh, this one's a little bit different than the uh, Mirage 180, but it's it's really it's a really nice system. So you you have these little push buttons here. You just push in on the button, and you can adjust it, you know, to seven or eight. It goes from one to eight. So um, this is eight all the way forward on both. So if you have really long legs, uh, they've got you covered there. And if you have really short legs, you can adjust it all the way to one and you're good to go there as well. And these, these are on a swivel, so really they've got you covered on adjustability there. Now we're gonna talk about how to remove and how to insert the drive into the boat. 
Hobie recommends that you put this on number four so that the pedals are right in the middle. And with the 360 drive, there's only one point that you need to pull the tab forward and then you lift up and the drive comes right out of the boat. And with the 360 drive, they have a handle here. You can carry that pretty easily. Uh, so once you get your boat set, carry this to your boat, make sure they're at four. I always like to put them at four just because Hobie recommends that. Um, and you just want to grab your pedals here, drop it straight down, and it locks in. It's very simple. Another feature with these Hobies, they have H-Rail. So this, this H-Rail system, um, they make a ton of stuff, accessories and things you can mount to it. Uh, like the, the rod storage system that comes with the boat, that's attached to the H-Rail. It comes with the cup holder, that's also attached to the H-Rail there. And like I said, they make tons of other accessories that will attach to the H-Rail system. And they also come with a track mounting system up here in the front. And you can mount a ton of accessories to that as well. And they also come with um, spots for pliers and leashes and all that stuff. So you can leash your pliers up and don't have to worry about losing them. Uh, it's a really nice feature to have on this boat. So you have line throughs here in the hull as well. So if you run wiring, you can run your battery system up front in the hull here. Once you take that uh, storage bin out, you can run your batteries underneath and then they come pre-drilled with line throughs so that you can mount your fish finder here on the H-rail and then you can run your line straight up from the line through to your fish finder. Um, same thing for if you want, like, want to run a USB power system to charge your phone or whatever, you can use those line throughs to run your, your system up through that. Um, here right in front of you, there's a, a storage box and it comes with a, uh, with a rubber little storage container and it also comes with some flambeau um, tackle boxes. Now you can remove this system, just pull up on that and it pulls right out. So if you need to access your hull, you can pull the system out. They also make other drop-in bins that you can drop in there for different types of storage if you, if you want to ditch the, um, the flambeau cases in there. So that's that for storage. Um, so we'll move into the transducer, rudder control, the skag, all that stuff. They're controlled by these, uh, these rip cords here. So if you can see, Back here, I don't know if you can see it, but we'll get B-roll of it too. So you just pull on this to pull up your skag, and it locks it into place. Same thing for the rudder. You pull up, and it locks it into place. I don't know if that went all the way up. I think it did. Uh, and then the release on them is pretty simple. You just grab your ripcord, pull it off to the side, and you let it go, and it drops your skag. Same thing with your rudder. Pull it off to the side, and it'll drop your rudder. This boat also comes with a hideaway transducer feature. You mount your transducer, whether it be side view, whatever, whatever kind of fish finder you have, you run your wires to that. And this feature is nice. So if you're in shallow water, if you know you're somewhere where it could get hit, you pull that rip cord and it pulls your transducer up into the hull of the boat to keep it protected. And this, uh, this fourth rip cord here is actually for the seat. So, this system is it's really nice it's um it's fully adjustable so you've got a bunch of different positions the way it's set up right now it's as high as it'll go so if you're in rough water if you're in somewhere where you need to get lower into the boat you have this other rip cord here that will adjust your your uh, kickstand in the back so you pull you want to sit forward pull that and it drops the back down and then you want to adjust the seat, the bottom of the seat with your right side. You pull forward on that and let it spin and it drops your seat down. Now you're low and then you wanna tighten this up so you get straighter up and down and that's the lowest position that you can be in, in this boat. Um, they also have some other features here in this, um, in this system. The Vantage ST has the BOA, the Vantage ST and the Vantage CW, CTW has the BOA uh, lumbar system. So it's a little ratchet strap. You want to pull down on it and that relieves your tension 
there on your lumbar. And then when you press that back up, it's got a ratchet that will tighten up your lumbar and you can adjust that to however it's comfortable for you. Um, so yeah, and when you wanna bring it back up, you just pull back up on the seat and it brings it back up to that position. And then you just turn your handle here. It'll bring you back up to level there. And then you just wanna drop your seat back. And now we're in the, the upright position again. So that's the Vantage ST with the Pro Angler. Um, also, when you're up this high, you can put a bunch of tackle underneath here. If you have a big tackle box for your soft plastics or whatever, anything you want to access really quick, you can chuck it underneath your seat with it up this high, which makes it nice. A um, little bit extra storage there. Moving back, we have a giant spot for Hobie's accessories. So they make what's called an H crate. Um, that's going to be where you store your tackle. You can put fishing rods all the way around it. Um, it's a really nice system. They also have a live well that we sell and you can put the live well back here and it'll fit perfectly and you can strap it down with all these bungees and all the strap places where they, they have mounts where you can um, tighten it down so you make sure you don't lose it. Also in the back here we have access to the inside of the hull there so you can run wiring or whatever you want. And then uh, you've got your rudder access here, your panel. And next we want to move into the paddle system on this Pro Angler. So the way these are stored, uh, they sit on top of the boat. So you've got the T-handle, you can use it just one side, or you can take both off and connect it together and have your traditional kayak paddle. And um, these come with the drip guards too. So uh, you know that water dripping down, you're not going to get what you're not going to get your hands wet, and it's not going to drip on you. Uh, it's a nice feature to have. So that's that for the paddle. And like I said before, you know they got the bungee system, so you can attach all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, overall, they're very very nice boats. Now um, before we let you go, uh, this seat is removable, so. When you transport, if you want to take the seat off so it doesn't you know, go flying down the road, uh, it's very simple to take off. You just want to pull this washer here, release the retention. You want to lean it forward and it pulls right out, just like that. Very simple. Um, you always want to make sure you lean them forward like this. And it's got a little tension in there in these cleats, which, uh, which keeps it in place. And then you just want to put your retention washer over and lock it into place. And now it won't go anywhere. It's locked in. So that's that's the one little thing we didn't cover with the Vantage seat. And also one more thing with the drive. So this boat comes with a little um, bungee cable here. And you can adjust this out so that you can loop your, your drive. And with this drive, the way it's set up, if one foot, if they're if they're spread out like this, the drive sits flat to the hull underneath, and you can go through some really skinny water. If you know you have a log or a boulder or something coming up, um, you can just lock it out like that, and then you can use that bungee to keep it locked up to the bottom of the boat. So I think that's it. We covered all the features, went through all the specs and some of the things that are offered for this Pro Angler 14 360 drive. Uh, if you want to come check it out for yourself, we have them only at our Hebron location. So stop by the new, uh, the new Marine showroom, check out all the other boats, but mainly we want you to stop and check out these Hobies. Uh, we have tons of other options, but this is just the first video. We're going to cover all the other boats as well. Stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed, click subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And follow us on all of our other social media platforms. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one.